Welcome back, everybody. Right now, we're going to start a completely new topic. It's called recursion. This topic is important for the beauty and joy of computing course, but it's not going to be in the CS principles exam. So remember, this is important stuff for this course. We think it's important for all of you to know, but it's not going to be tested on the exam. It's very crucial you don't panic and try to study this because you're not going to see any questions on the exam. So when you're taking this material for the exam, don't worry about this recursion stuff. But this is important for the beauty and joy of computing course. We're going to start where we always start in beauty, beauty and joy computing with a great project called V, and we're going to get into demo mode. So V is an amazing idea by Paul Goldenberg, and it's been actualized into Snap, and we'll see it right now. So here we go. So now I'm in Snap. I'm going to go and say View Presentation Mode, so you see only Snap. I encourage all of you to go to Presentation Mode when you're doing code. Here's how this works. So V, this is called Setup Code. Um, I, this early code on the top here says, when well, clicked, tell my sprite to go to the bottom center, show itself if it had been hidden, put a pen down, clear, and point up. That's all it says to do. And you can see that the, the, uh, the sprite has done that. Then it calls V. Let's actually look at what V is, OK, how V is defined. So V is a little block command we wrote. And it does something kind of interesting. Let's see if we can see it together. First, V says, take your little arrow-shaped sprite and turn 45 degrees to the left. So if you're looking at me, it turns this way. Then it says, move 25 steps out. Yoink. OK. Run item any of shapes. You see shapes over, I guess it's, you see shapes. I don't know which, which direction I'm going to be placed on the screen. Shapes is a list. A list of what? Look up. Look at shapes. What does it say? Ellipse of blocks, right? Isn't that a list of blocks? Nothing magical about that. Blocks can be things, so it's a list of blocks, OK? And it runs one of them. All that does is square says move in a square. That's all it does. There's no pen in or out. It's gray because there's no pen action, OK? Just move in a square. Hex says move in a hexagon. Star says move in a star, OK? So I guess it's like out, 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 up, up, OK? Then, watch me. So it did that, but it came back to where it was. The important thing is each one of those guys leaves the sprite where it started, OK? Then it says, move back 25 steps. Zook, now it's back at the place where it started. Turn right 90. So now watch. Turn right 90, OK? Then it says, move out again. And basically do the same thing again. So go out again, run any of those things, any of them. That's a random choice, what it draws. And then move back and reset. So it ends the same place it began, just like those four blocks you saw, OK? Nothing magical. Let's see how it works. OK, let's run it together. And action. OK, ready? And so I think the space bar does it. Nope, maybe this one. No. OK, oh, look. That particular time I went left, it grabbed the hex, it came back, went right, and grabbed the star. OK, nothing magical, nothing crazy. Your brain doesn't hurt yet. By the way, your brain's going to hurt today. I mentioned this in class, but I didn't pretend in the video. Your brain's going to hurt now. OK, watch. OK? And it's doing it. Look, I'm randomly choosing it. This may be the first time you actually have seen randomness in a program. And it's kind of cool. The program surprises you. Isn't that neat? So I'm, oh, look, two stars today, right? It's kind of telling you what to do that day. Watch. Boom. Boom. Love it, right? OK. Here's where it gets magical. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see what's going to happen. Watch this. OK, and there's my list of shapes. It's choosing from that. If I hit on this, by the way, you have access to the V demo if you can play with it yourself. If I hit up arrow now, so let's hit up arrow, yoink. And maybe I, think need to get, maybe I need to get out of this to hit the up arrow. Give me a second. Up arrow, up arrow. Hit, see, up arrow. Up arrow. Well, OK, I'll get back in here. Up arrow. Now, V is part of the set of blocks that could be chosen by shapes. So I want you to pause this video and ask yourself, and even draw, what you think is going to happen when I click the green flag. OK? Pause the video now. And you're back. What'd you guess? Well, some people say, well, maybe the same thing. Because it could be that it doesn't choose itself. That's also right. Could be that it chooses and makes maybe two of them, you know, like maybe a final four or something. But what if it chooses itself and itself and itself? Let's try it. Ready? Here we go. We're running it together. We're running this live now. Let's see what happens, OK? Here we go. Ooh. 
How, now, how did that happen? Well, it went left and chose V itself. Then it went, and that V went left and chose V itself. And then it went left and chose hex, came back, chose square, came back. Now it's on the earlier one, chose star, came back to the earlier one, chose star. Isn't that cool? Let's try it again. Ah, boring, OK. Boring, boring. The audience went, whoa. And every once in a while, you get one that really makes you just The power of recursion. Not only did this program surprise you, that little teeny program, I'm telling you, you saw the code for what created that. It was just turn left, you know, turn 45, go out, choose, it, choose from the list. Come back, turn right, go, 45, go 25, choose from the list and come back. It's all it did. And when it calls itself, it kept calling itself and calling itself and calling itself. And it actually surprised you. It actually drew this gorgeous, Artistic drawing, unpredicted, natural, out of that little beautiful piece of code. So this is an example. This, I just want I can stop now. The V project is an example of the power of recursion. That little snippet of code we understood. We can take a look at it again. And leave, I, can leave this, the, I can leave the screen up here. Let's take a look at that again as I come back here. Okay. And do that, do that, come back, OK, well, I'll show you. OK, there's the code, folks. Nothing magical about that code. And that code drew, I turn Sprite's shape off, that beautiful picture you see. OK, so this really highlights how awesome recursion is. This is in a graphical way, but there's no reason that you couldn't have this do something else that maybe move in a dance way that, wow, how is that robot doing that? It's doing a fractal. It's doing a recursive routine that I've never seen before. Because in the same way you had this beautiful artistic pen output, you could have any kind of output. You could be making soup in a way recursively that's never been done before. You have a robot move in a creative way. Okay? So recursion is really powerful. We showed in this graphical way. And that's the V demo. Thanks so much.